What's up guys, Fortnite here. Welcome back to another episode of Undertale. It is the first one while I am here at college. Um, I'm going to Michigan Tech University and um, yeah, I live in Wadsworth Hall and I've been making a lot of really good friends. But you are here for Undertale. So let's get into it. Uh, been a while since I played. Okay. Hey there, Sands. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 gold to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, I can you can use it for free. How's about it? Use the telescope? Yeah, let's use it. Looking for stuff. <laughs> Here. Come on in. This is my roommate, Roman. And, uh... I don't know where I'm waving to. Well, my little webcam hover. My webcam's over here. Oh. So, yeah. Anyways. Back to Undertale. Bye. <laughs> So yeah, um, I don't understand what's going on with the telescope. Huh? Uh, little pop-up, stop it. Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. Full refund of zero. Perfect. What's this little guy? What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? I'm... I'm going to walk away from this little guy because he's... Uh, um... Sands! Sands! Sands, why'd you do it, Sands? <gasps> nice cream. I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. <gasps> Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Um, yeah. Here you go. Ice cream sure is nice. Oh well. Hmm. I think I shall head down. <sighs> Little speaking flower. You hear a passing conversation. So? Don't you have any wishes to make? Hmm. Just one, but... It's kind of stupid. Wishes aren't stupid. They're only stupid if you make them stupid. And remembering the keyboard controls. Oh boy. Okay. Spare. Yay. It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? You're carrying too much. Um. Then I should. Just drop the toy knife. It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? Take it. You got the ballet shoes. Steam notifications go away. Please. Uh. Ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, 
Her opinion of you is very... Murder. But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A faded ribbon. Because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. In other words... Use. And an old tutu. There we go. Haha. <laughs> Has my mouse been there? Actually, no, I can edit that out, so never mind. Washua and Aaron. Well, Washua. I'm gonna clean. It hops around excitedly. Education, hobby, talent. Oh, oh. Aaron is admiring his own muscles. Aaron, flex. Flex is twice as hard. Okay. Flex. You flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Oh. Ooh, that was close. Next flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, well, spare. And, yeah, we're good now. Okay. You hear passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on. I promise I won't laugh. The power to take their souls. This is the power that humans feared. Hello? Hello? Mr. Mr. Tentacle Friend? I hope he's a tentacle friend. Oh. Uh, hey there! Noticed you were here? I'm Onion San. Onion San, you here? Okay. Hello. Hello. Oh boy. You're, you're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it. Huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Okay, just I'm just gonna walk away now. Even though the water is getting so shallow here, I I have to sit down all the time. But hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium, like all my friends did. And the aquarium's full anyway. So even if I wanted to, I that's okay though. You hear? Undine's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean. You hear? You hear? <laughs> Bye, Onion San. Hey, hey, hey there. That's the end of this room. I'll, I'll see you around. Have a good time. In the waterfall. Bye, Onion San. Oh, Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow it encounters you anyways. Um, smile. You smile. You ask to see Shiren smile, too. Shiren gets quieter in the corner. Aaron nods his head approvingly. Two.
Um, uh, hum. You hum a sad song. Shiren follows your melody. Siri, Siri, Siri. Spare, you won. The northern room hides a great treasure. What shall this treasure be, hmm? Huh. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. There's a piano here. Play it? Yes. See you. See Ray, nope. See Ray, see Ray, see me, see me. Oh, I have to hit enter or Z in this case. Um Google Right Google So Neutral Oh Neutral Up Right Okay, so the tune is Okay It's a legendary artifact Will you take it? I shall You're carrying too much Oh crap Item Faded ribbon Drop You threw the faded ribbon on the ground like the piece of trash it is It's a legendary artifact Yes Carrying too many dogs Um I'm very confused. I'm carrying I'm carrying too many dogs. Info. Annoying dog. Dog, a little white dog. It's fast asleep. Use. You deployed the dog. The dog absorbs the artifact. No! Well, that happened. <laughs> this power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster's die, when a monster dies, its soul disappears. Um, and an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception: the soul of a special species of monster is called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened, and now it never will. Well, that's called the genocide route. It's a statue. The structures at its feet seem dry. Okay. Eh. Please take one. 
Pick an umbrella. Take one. Do not. I have... I have umbrella. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome. Let's go. Oh, I don't have the mark on my face anymore from Sans. Man, Undine is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night. Knowing she was going to beat me up. Haha. <laughs> So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undine came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. Hello, little flower. Um, maybe she wouldn't be up to teachers. See, nah, she's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Oh, that's cool. Oh, we're actually walking through here. This is cool. Okay. That's cool. That's a cool castle. Put back. You return the umbrella. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Hmm. Yo, you want to see Undine, right? Climb on my shoulders. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Oh. Well, there's no turning back now. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken and countless monsters were turned to dust. Okay. I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me for this episode. Um, if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.